Drive here at Basketball IQ. Got Brian Baptiste here with me, All Marine Corps basketball team. We're gonna tap into this interview a little bit, see what he got on his mind, pick his brain a little bit, then we're gonna do some drills. You know, see if he can keep up, see if I can keep up. Tell folks your name. My name is Brian Baptiste, how y'all doing? I'm 25 years old, been in the Marine Corps for seven years, and I'm ready to get into it, see what we got today. So where are you from? I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. What got you into basketball? I'm into basketball. I say my high school basketball coach. I didn't play basketball until I was in high school. I played football up until there, so my high school basketball coach told me I should come out. I play AAU basketball, so I never took it too serious. Something to do in the summertime away from school. High school, I really got into it. 11th grade year, I really got into basketball. But whenever you got to that point of, oh man, I'm actually pretty good, I might can go somewhere with this. When was that? I ain't, I ain't, I don't even think I'm at that point now to be honest, but <laughs> I ain't really think I could get into it like that until probably until my second or third year in the Marine Corps. Oh. My senior year of high school, they everybody told me I was good, but I didn't believe in myself. So that's where it starts. You gotta, you know, it, it starts right here. You gotta believe in yourself, and then it's mental too. If you got a good, good group around you that help motivate you. That's a big key. Fast forward now, when did you make the All Marine basketball team? I couldn't get to it until 2016. What was 20, holding you back? 2013, it got canceled. Year after that, I was on pre-deployment training. 2015, I deployed. I got back 2016. That was my first year I was able to go. What was that whole atmosphere like for you? Because I know it's a lot that goes into it. You got to train, you got to travel, then you're on a strict schedule. You got to follow strict orders based on what you can and cannot do up until you know, the, the tryout, then you got the tryout. And all, how, how did that, what, what was all that like for you? It's rough, uh, it's definitely rough. It's rough trying to balance being a Marine 24-7 and balance being a basketball player, being able to play at a high level. The players you're gonna play against, they all play D1, Air Force Academy, Army, Naval Academy. So it's a lot trying to be a Marine 24-7 because we have a nine to five job, obviously, and you still work extra hours. Right, right. But still trying to get off work late, get into the gym, then you gotta go home to your family. So it's a lot to balance. A lot of people don't take that into consideration in the Marine Corps like you said it's full time it's full time mm -hmm. and nine to five ain't always nine to five yeah it's a lot to balance you gotta you're gonna lose a lot of sleep right. especially the the months leading up to camp okay. you're gonna want to put in extra hours so what was the talent level like going out to the tryout was that something that you had seen before something you had never seen before you know, did uh, you think you stacked up I kind of played with all the talent before from different base teams I saw it most of the talent, except one or two players. So it was nothing new. It's just playing at a higher level. It was, it was nothing new though. Okay. Fast forward, little blue birdie told me somebody played for Team USA. Right. Hey, how'd that go? How, how did that even start? That now that was a definitely a new experience. Okay. Uh, I got I got to Team USA through All Marine. Obviously, I got selected from the Armed Forces tournament. The level of competition was definitely way way harder than I expected. I wasn't ready at all. Keep it hundred. I wasn't ready. <laughs> it was definitely great great experience. I just got selected through Armed Forces. I performed well Armed Forces tournament. I was a leading scorer. I made all tournament teams, so I got selected. We had camp, man. Whenever you found out, you are not gonna pass past that like it's nonchalant. Whenever you found out, what was your reaction? I know it wasn't just no all right, cool, yeah, you know, I when I, found out I got selected. Yeah, when you found out you got selected. They told me right after the game. After the last game, we had a ceremony called out. Um, three players from the Marines they took us to this little backcourt. They told us we were going to China. 2019 World Games. What teams out there? We played against China, Lithuania, Brazil, Mongolia. There's a lot of countries out there. There's over 100 <laughs> okay. countries. But oh, and how did y'all play? How did we as Team USA play? We got silver medal. We came okay. in second. We lost in the Good. championship game. Okay. We lost to Lithuania. Oh man. Well put together team. <laughs> all pros. They all play professional. They've been playing together for over 10 years. So. It was a well put together team. <laughs> yeah. We only had three weeks of training camp. Three weeks of training camp made it to silver. We flew to Sacramento up north. And we had three weeks of training camp. We flew to China. They was a well put together team. We still should have won, but <laughs> it's better to coming home with silver than coming home empty. Coming home with so. nothing. Yeah, you're right. We're going to get right into it. Go ahead, go inside this gym right here. You're going to show me two of your drills, and I'm going to show you two of my drills. Drills okay. that, that help you or something that, that make you you. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I'll show you two of basketball IQ like drills. And okay. I got a little something for you in my bag there, too. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. Let's get it. In the gym now. See him back here warming up and stuff, bro. He gonna try and beat up on me. It's all good. We gonna see what made Brian 
Brian to make the All Marine basketball team selected for the Team USA. We're gonna show him what made Coach Rob begin basketball IQ. We're gonna show him a couple drills of our own, and we're gonna we're gonna pull some stuff out the holster. And plus, like I said, I got something for him in the bag. I'm a little excited. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me see what you got.
good seeing you, good playing with you again. So proud of you. I'm happy for every success that you got. Family, basketball career, then you trying to play college, right? Yes, sir. There we go. Anything you want to say, anything you want people to see from you, if you got some footage, let them know, man. I just want to say thank you first to you. Thank you. The man behind the camera, y'all can't see him. That's the ball IQ. Thank you. This was great. And all I got to say is just work hard, chase your dreams. You never know what can happen. It can take you places you've never been. Absolutely true. He said the C word. He don't know yet. So this is all his, y'all. Let's look at this. Black crown right there. Basketball IQ's motto is can't is a mindset. He said the C word. But what he don't know about the C word is suicide and 20 push ups. Yeah, you got to Let me get you 20 real quick. Hey, of course, thank you, man. Hey, man. Basketball IQ, Coach Rob, thank y'all, man.